with the 25-year anniversary of Scream 2, franchise creator Kevin Williamson has been in the news a lot recently talking about the franchise. The Scream franchise, which has been known as one of those properties in which no character ever seems truly safe from old Ghostface. In this year's Scream 5, the film killed off one of the most popular and beloved characters in the franchise. And if you are familiar with these films, you know that it wasn't the first time. Kevin Williamson revealed Kevin Williamson revealed one thing that he would change about the franchise, and that is, of course, the killing off of Randy Meeks. Randy Meeks quickly became a fan favorite for his character and his constant references to other popular slasher movies from the 80s and even the 70s. And Randy was just one of those beloved characters that it's like you're watching a Scream movie, there's no one that's going to walk away from that movie and say, yeah, Randy really annoyed me. No, Randy was freaking awesome. And Kevin Williamson fully recognizes that and the controversial killing of the beloved character saying in one recent interview he would reverse the decision if he could. Quote, I thought if you kill someone really important to the audience in the middle, it just ups the stakes. Everything's off the table. I knew we weren't going to kill Sydney. I knew we weren't going to kill Gail or Dewey. Those three characters for Scream 2 were safe, and so I had to look to the secondary characters, the scribe said in a new chat with Entertainment Weekly. He added that he loved the character, but thought the shock value of his death would help propel the follow-up forward. I love Randy. I would have given him a much bigger life had I known this franchise was going to live and live, Williamson added. I would have loved for him to be a legacy character, especially now. But at the time, I thought it would just be the punch in the gut the audience needed to really get mad and get mad at the killer. While Randy himself is gone, the family's legacy lives on thanks to this year's introduction of his niece Mindy and nephew Chad, who are said to have much bigger roles in Scream 6 next year. Like I said, it is the 25-year anniversary of Scream 2, so me and my wife Eleanor will probably be having Scream 2 on our Slasher Saturday podcast, a show where I watch something that either I haven't seen in a while or something I am a big fan of, and Eleanor, who has never seen Scream 2, it'd be awesome to get that insight from what she thinks about this film because when I originally watched it, honestly, I wasn't the world's biggest fan of Scream 2, but years of years have passed, so maybe my feelings have changed. And I know there's a lot of people that actually do prefer Scream 2 over the original and definitely over Scream 3, and I myself would love to hear what your guys' thoughts are on Scream 2 and, of course, the killing of Randy, I think was probably one of the most epic scenes in the movie, as well as some of the scenes in the third act. I won't give any other spoilers, but it's a 25-year-old movie. If you haven't seen it by now, you're not going to. But what do you think of the idea of Randy being alive in the future movies? Of course, it's not an option. We saw his death, but Kevin Williamson says now that he is one of the characters that we would really love to have around. Whatever you think, let us know in the comments below. Show us some love for Randy, and that will do it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day.